What causes multiple sclerosis? Multiple sclerosis is felt to result from a combination of both genetic and environmental factors. Genetically, uh, MS is not uh, strongly hereditary, even though there is a genetic component. If a person has multiple sclerosis, their first degree relatives, their brothers, sisters, children, have about a three to five percent risk in their lifetime of having MS. I always like to turn that around and say there's a 95 to 97 percent chance that they're not going to have MS. That three to five percent risk is significantly higher than someone who does not have a family member with MS. Another way of looking at it is when we uh, look at people with MS, about 10% of the time we can identify another family member with MS uh, in that person's uh, family. What about the environment and multiple sclerosis? We think that in the person who is genetically predisposed to have MS, that there has to be an environmental trigger to set uh, the wheels in motion. Much of the research keeps coming back to viruses, to bacteria that, that are, are probably very common uh, to us and that most people are exposed to. A number of viruses have been identified, things like human herpes virus 6, Epstein-Barr virus, things again that are very, very common. And what may happen is that as this virus comes into the person's immune system early in life, probably before age 15, that person's immune system gets confused and the immune system will try to, to recognize or remember that virus and attack it when it sees it in the future. But unfortunately, some of these viruses look a little bit like parts of myelin, some of the proteins in myelin. And it may be that the, be that the immune system, in the process of remembering to attack that virus, then thinks the virus looks like part of the myelin and learns to attack myelin instead of just going after, after that virus. That's probably a common thread to many uh, autoimmune conditions in that there's that breakdown in the ability of the immune system to distinguish self from not self. Again, it, it looks like uh, th these things are probably set in place fairly early in life, even though the person may not develop symptoms for decades, you know, into their 20s, 30s, 40s, or, or, or even later. There are some interesting sort of geographic characteristics to multiple sclerosis. MS has always been more common as one moves away from the equator. So if you go north in the northern hemisphere or south in the southern hemisphere, you see more MS. That may speak somewhat to the genetics. It may speak somewhat to the environmental uh, part of MS. MS has always been a little more common in people of northern European descent. That's not written in stone. Certainly we see other people uh, here at the, the Shepherd Center. We take care of 500 African Americans with MS. But the trends do favor it uh, occurring in, in people of, of northern European descent. And certainly those blonde, blue-eyed people tend to live further away from the, uh, the equator. There's been a question as to whether uh, what we're exposed to in the envir environment may differ as we move away from the equator. Typically, people further from the equator deal with viruses as the most common in, uh, infections. As you go closer to the equator towards the tropics, people tend to deal with parasites and amoeba, uh, more, more uh, sort of those sorts of il illnesses. The way our immune system handles those two different types of, of infectious uh, challenges really is quite different. Uh, in multiple sclerosis, the, there is a relative overabundance of a type of, of T cell, part of the immune system called a Th1 cell. These cells are, are relatively overactive. Turns out that these are the cells that primarily uh, handle viruses, whereas the counterpart, the Th2 cell, which may be relatively underactive in MS, is typically used to handle uh, parasitic infections. So maybe that combination of things we're exposed to uh, you know, in the environment combined with the right genetics really sets this whole uh, process in motion for multiple sclerosis.